Hello, this lesson is about measuring series circuits in electronics. I'll teach you how to measure resistance, voltage, and current in series circuits. This is a follow-up to my YouTube video. The address is shown here if you want to go watch it for review about calculating those same voltage, current, and resistance in series circuits. All right, and I've chosen two resistors and connected them in series in this breadboard. There's a 390 ohm resistor and a 1K ohm resistor. Uh, if you can see the leads where they're plugged in, in the same row from the end of the 390 to the beginning of the 1K. To measure resistance in series, always remember to disconnect your power. So I'm going to turn off that power supply, disconnect the leads. Now you touch for the entire resistance from the beginning of the first resistor to the end of the last resistor and it reads 1370 ohms. If you want just the first resistor, touch to one side and the other and 386. And touching the second resistor, we have 986 ohms. Now it does help if you pull tight against the resistor with the leads so it's not wobbling or you get fluctuating readings. My power supply connected to my meter through my leads directly attached to the power supply. Power supply says 5 volts, but my meter is reading 5.06, so I'm going to just adjust that down a little bit until my meter reads 5 volts. Connected up the power supply to the leads of these resistors for this series circuit. So now we're going to measure the voltage drop of the entire circuit. So you touch one lead to the beginning of resistor, the return lead to the end of the other resistor, or the last resistor, and it reads five volts on our on our meter. Now to measure the voltage drop on each individual resistor, for resistor one you would touch the lead to the front and the opposite lead to the back and it reads 1.40 volts. The second resistor, again you touch before and after the resistor and it reads 3.59 volts. Current in series, I'm going to switch my meter to the current setting. Here it's set to read up to 20 milliamps. And then you have to break your circuit open. So you don't want current flowing through the circuit. The reason is you have to have all the current flowing through your meter. So then you touch the first lead to the end of the first resistor and the second lead to the beginning of the second resistor, providing the pathway through the meter, which now reads 3.6 milliamps. Also connect your return lead from the power supply to the to the black lead of your meter and touch the red lead to the resistor and read the current after it flows through both resistors. Again, it should read the same because current in a series circuit is the same anywhere in the circuit. Now remember, whenever you're measuring current, always have a resistance in series with that meter. If you were to touch the meter leads directly to the power supply with no resistance, so much current would flow through that meter that it would blow your fuse or ruin the meter. So always have a resistor in series with your meter before you, you touch the leads to measure current.